Hello there. Nice to be with you just for a short time. I've been thinking about John chapter 3. John chapter 3 is the uh, account of a man by the name of Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, who goes to Jesus and says to him that he recognizes that Jesus is a teacher sent from God because no man could do the miracles that Jesus was doing unless God was with him. And Jesus says to this religious man, except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus says, well, how can a man be born again when he is old? He can't enter his mother's womb a second time be born. Jesus said, well, you must be born again of the Holy Spirit. We've all been born once. We've had a physical birth into a human family. And uh, we need to have a spiritual birth into God's family. And that comes through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, when we are born again of the Holy Spirit. And you know, when a baby is born, there are two things, two essential things that people look for. One is that the baby is breathing, make sure it's breathing. And secondly, the thing that they will look for is that the baby is feeding either breast fed or bottle fed. But those are the two essentials, aren't they, at the beginning of a baby's life, that the baby is breathing and the baby is feeding. And that applies also to the spiritual life. If we say we're born again, then it does mean that we pray. Uh, there is a hymn which says, that prayer is the Christian's vital breath. And it's something that comes to us naturally when we're born again. And Jesus, you remember, says to those who believe in him, when you pray, say, Our Father, who art in heaven. We're born again into God's family, and uh, we are members of God's family, his children, through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And God is our Father. And this is a precious truth to lay hold of. If you're trusting Jesus as your Saviour, God is your Father, and you are a son or a daughter of God. But also, one expects that... Uh, Uh, if that is the case, then the person will pray. Prayer, talking to our Father in prayer. And the other is feeding on the Word of God. In uh, Peter's first letter, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2, he says, As newborn babes... Desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. And he links Christian growth with the scriptures. And from being spiritual babies throughout the rest of our Christian lives, we need to feed on that spiritual food. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow up, that you may grow up in your Christian life. Uh, there used to be a, a chorus, I've not heard it sung for a long time. You went, read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. And uh, it is important that we recognize the importance 
of prayer and the importance of reading the word which is the Christian's spiritual food. And so I just leave these thoughts with you. You might have the opportunity of sharing them with others and uh, reminding others gently that to enter into the kingdom of God they need to be born again, a second birth, a spiritual birth into God's family through faith in Jesus Christ who loved us and gave himself for us on the cross for our sins to be our saviour and who rose again from the dead and is our living Lord. Trust him and thank him and learn to follow him and to love him. Just a brief prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that it is possible to be born again of your Holy Spirit, born into your family, and to become children of God through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. For those of us who have taken that step, may we have that quiet assurance that you are our Father and we are your children. And bless us and make us a blessing to others that we might be able to share with them this glorious truth. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, well, good to be with you. Look forward to being with you next week. Bye. God bless you.